good morning. So, we are in session 23. Um, earlier among word family families, uh, we have recently covered uh, two vowel uh, groups A with any other vowel, E with any other vowel and I with any other vowel we have covered and now we are going to cover O U. Read out the first two lines. Abound, about, allowed, amount, around, astound. Okay. Bounds, bound, cloud, cloud, couch, count, county. Good. Next. Doubt. Yeah. Be silent. Doubt. Expound. Load. Yes. Cloud. Foul. Pound, fountain, ground, pound, are, house, loud, lounge, lounge, lounge. Okay, next. Mount, mouse, mouth, noun, ounce, hour, house, out, law, pouch, pounds, yes, propound, proud, round. Okay. Plow, G A G silent. Okay, next. Plow, scoundrel, scout, shout, shroud, slouch, slouch, sound. Okay, next. Sound. This is one sound of O U. Next, another minor sound of O U. What, rot, what, art, sort, rot. Rot. Okay. So, cloud is the major sound pattern, and this is found in very few words, but three more sound patterns of O U are here. Next. Order, armor, clamor, color, cuff, country, couple, cousin, devour, 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 double, enough, famous, favor. Good. Next. Honor, journal, labor, mucus, order, order. Rough, rumor. 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 Touch, tough, trouble, trough. Trough. Humor, valor, young. Good. So, a. Uh, a uh is another sound of O U, rough. Then the third sound is like four. Although, or, 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 mold, mold, or, sojourn, soul, source. Do you. Okay. And the fourth sound is like group. Contour, good, coop. Coo actually. Who? Uh, yeah. Uh, who? Coupe. Coupe. Coupon, uh, theater. Detour. Detour, group. Ruble. Ruble, 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 root, routine, should, soup, through, tour, tournament, wood, one, you, you. Good. So, O U sound is in word family cloud, rough, four, group. Um, any. Um, Interesting word for which you want to quickly pick up the meaning. Sir, uh, ruble is that Russian currency or something? Ruble, yeah. That one, no? Uh, right now we are uh, okay. talking about things here. Anything here? No? Yeah, ruble is the Russian currency, yes. What else? Contour, contour, you know? the 
curves showing the same height when you put all those curves together one curve for um, 4.5 meter another curve for 4.2 meter another curve for 4.1 meter another curve for 3.9 meter then the set of curves that you get on the plane that shows you the contour okay sojourn very interesting word uh, some time that you spent at a particular place so your stay there with all the experiences of that place is your sojourn etymologically connected to journey somewhere um, perhaps okay uh, so earlier we had seen uh, 200 verbs okay so another 100 verbs Use, add, allow, appear, attack, balance, bath. 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 Okay. Bath is noun, snan. Bath is verb, snan karna. Okay. Um, and if you don't know the meaning of some of the verbs, you will ask. Okay. Continue. Bend, bite, borrow, brush, care, chase, check, chew, clean. Next. Climb. Climb, collect, copy, crack, crumble, deduct, defend, dip, disappear, divide, drag, draw, dust, elect, escape, fail, fail. Fix, fix, forbid, forget, gamble, grab, grasp, raise, grind, guess, help, hide, ignore, insert, joke. loan measure memorize good misuse mop move multiply note paint pass pay praise present pretend protect punch recall recognize remember good remove repay reply reveal risk rule save scratch seek good seem select sir seek shake shake shave shift shine slip soak spit spread stare 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 store subtract sub subtract sub sub subtract many people make this mistake okay. subtract subtract surprise sweep trap trick vanish vote wash waste way work good so i understand that uh, all of you know uh, uh, these verbs and in the background of your leisure uh, you ask yourself um, which verb among these uh, can take no object which can take a single object which can take two objects and then you ask yourself which verb can be used as some other now uh, um, uh, figure of speech also i uh, sorry other part of speech also so for example attack it can be a noun okay check can be a noun even chase can be a noun okay elect can be an adjective okay even select can be an adjective okay so there are many uh, verbs which can be used as noun or adjective or something abuse yes yes abuse also it can be noun okay earlier we have seen third form as adjective then we have seen b plus third form which expresses passive voice okay now we will see have plus third form from the other side we have seen have with its very funny peculiar shift of meanings and we have seen a particular use of have with to have to just in the previous session to imply necessity and now we have another use of have a very important use in the uh, language and that is to form sentences in perfect tense present perfect past perfect and future perfect let us motivate the issue with a few funny examples इसका हिंदी में मतलब बताओ तुम्हारे पास एक तुम्हारे पास एक 
टूटा हुआ रेडियो है ठीक है थर्ड फॉर्म एडजेक्टिव टूटा हुआ रेडियो परफेक्टली फाइन यू हैव ब्रोकन रेडियो तुमने एक रेडियो खराब कर दिया ओके सो यहाँ पर भी एक टूटा हुआ रेडियो तुम्हारे पास था यहाँ पर भी एक टूटा हुआ रेडियो तुम्हारे पास था लेकिन इस केस में रेडियो को टूटे हुए हालत में लाने में तुम्हारा थोड़ा सा योगदान था ठीक है तो आइडिया ये है यू हैव ब्रोकन तुमने तोड़ डाला है ए रेडियो एक रेडियो को इसमें तुम्हारे ऊपर इल्ज़ाम नहीं था ठीक यू हैव ए ब्रोकन रेडियो तुम्हारे पास एक टूटा हुआ रेडियो है ब्रोकन को इधर ले आया है तो हुआ यू हैव ब्रोकन ए रेडियो तुम्हारे पास टूटे हुए हालत में है एक रेडियो ठीक है सो द आइडिया इज दैट यू हैव ब्रोकन इट दैट इज तुमने तोड़ा है तुमने एक रेडियो तोड़ा है ठीक है नेक्स्ट उनके पास जमा किया गया पैसा है उन्होंने पैसे जमा किए हैं ठीक है अभी भी पैसे जमा किए हुए पैसे हैं उनके पास लेकिन अब हुआ कि जमा उन्होंने ही किए हैं ठीक है तो हैव कलेक्टेड हैव के पास बाद जो थर्ड फॉर्म आया तो ये मिलकर जो है एक ऐसी घटना का बोध कराता है, है जो कि तुरंत तुरंत समाप्त हुआ है उसका असर अभी तक है द एक्शन हैज़ बीन कम्प्लीटेड सो हैव प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म एक्सप्रेस द स्टेट ऑफ कम्प्लीटेड एक्शन द इफेक्ट ऑफ विच इज स्टिल प्रेजेंट ओके उसकी जिंदगी सुरक्षित है बिल्कुल सही उसने एक जिंदगी को सुरक्षित किया ठीक है सो so, इसमें जैसे कि उसके पिताजी उसके पति उसके बेटे उसके भाई सारे लोग इतना आराम से सही बंदोबस्त करके रखा है कि उसको किसी बात की चिंता नहीं है सो so, उसे एक प्रोटेक्टेड लाइफ हासिल है ठीक है लेकिन इसमें है कि उसने एक लाइफ को प्रोटेक्ट किया है बचाया है ठीक है एक बिल्ली जो फंस गई थी किसी कोने में तो उसको जो है निकाला है उसने उसको बचाया ठीक है नाउ आई हैव वाइल्ड एक्स मतलब मेरे पास उबले हुए अंडे हैं मैंने अंडे उबाले हैं अब कैसे पता चला क्योंकि मैंने यहाँ पर कुछ रखा है और इसमें यहाँ पर कुछ रखा है ठीक है दोनों सेंटेंस एक ही है एक्चुअली आई हैव बॉइल्ड एग्स मेरे पास उबले हुए अंडे हैं आई हैव बॉइल्ड एग्स मैंने अंडे उबाले हैं दोनों मतलब निकलेगा आर्टिकल का जगह खाली है ठीक है एंड दैट मे क्रिएटेड प्रॉब्लम हियर बोथ मीनिंग्स आर पॉसिबल ओके I have boiled eggs. I have boiled eggs. Actually, in this place, if you put some, then you will find that the sum shifts. I have some boiled eggs. मेरे पास कुछ उबले हुए अंडे हैं, and I have boiled some eggs. मैंने कुछ अंडे उबाले हैं. तो उसको बोल, लेकिन हम सम नहीं बोलेंगे. कुछ हम नहीं बोलेंगे. Then there is a problem. There is a confusion. Both meanings are fine. Okay. Now you will ask. We had present tense. I boil eggs. You had past tense. I boiled eggs. मैं अंडे उबालता हूँ. मैंने अंडे उबाला था. इसके पहले हमने ये भी सिखाया. I used to boil eggs. मैं अंडे उबालता था. इस चीज़ की ज़रूरत क्या है? I have boiled eggs. ये ऐसी घटना है जो कि time के हिसाब से present में नहीं, लेकिन ठीक से past में भी नहीं. एक ऐसे बीच में आता है जो कि present ही है. लेकिन हो चुका है प्रेजेंट स्टेट ऑफ कंप्लीटेड एक्शन नॉट द सेंस ऑफ एक्शन व्हिच टुक प्लेस लॉन्ग टाइम बैक ओके प्रेजेंट स्टेट ऑफ कंप्लीटेड एक्शन इन ऑर्डर टू सी इट इन कंट्रास्ट टू अदर फॉर्म्स लुक एट दीज सेंटेंसेस टुगेदर यस आई ब्रश माय टीथ मतलब मैं अपने दांत साफ करती रोज रोज ये रोज के सेंस में है ठीक है आई ब्रश माई टीथ विच आई डू डेली ये आई एम ब्रशिंग माई टीथ मैं अपने दांत साफ कर रही हूँ या कर रहा हूँ अभी नाउ ओके आई ब्रश माई टीथ अर्ली सुबह मैंने 
दांत साफ किया था सुबह ठीक है आई हैव ब्रश्ड माय टीथ जस्ट नाउ मैंने दांत साफ कर लिया है सुबह आठ बजे बता रहे हैं या सुबह सात बजे बता रहे हैं ठीक है तो ऑलरेडी कर चुके हैं ऑलरेडी का सेंस इसमें है ठीक है तो जो काम अभी खत्म कर चुके हैं बस खत्म किया है हिंदी से अंग्रेजी करने में इसमें कभी कभी जो है ना कुछ सेंटेंस हिंदी में ऐसे आते हैं जो कि प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट में सही बैठता है और वही सेंटेंस किसी किसी कॉन्टेक्स्ट में पास्ट में सही बैठता है ठीक है इंग्लिश से हिंदी करते वक्त किसी किसी केस में सीधे जो है वह गया बोलना ही काफ़ी है लेकिन किसी किसी कॉन्टेक्स्ट में जा चुका था बोलते हैं जा चुका है बोलते हैं जा चुका है लेकिन जा चुका है टेंस के मुताबिक कोई जरूरी नहीं था गया है इज गुड इनफ राइट ये इन्विटेशन अभी करेंटली इफेक्टिव है यानी कि रिसेंटली कम्प्लीटेड एक्शन द इफेक्ट ऑफ विच इज स्टिल देयर ओके इन्विटेशन इज वैलिड ओके यू हैव बीन कॉल्ड बाई रमेश टू हिज हाउस तुम्हें रमेश द्वारा उसके घर बुलाया गया है गुड ये भी हो सकता है एंड दैट इज इंटरेस्टिंग दिस सेंटेंस यू हैव बीन कॉल्ड एंड दिस सेंटेंस ऑल्सो मे मेक द सेम सेंस यू आर कॉल्ड बाई रमेश टू हिज हाउस बट दिस सेंटेंस कैन मेक कैन गिव एन अदर सेंस तुम्हें रमेश द्वारा बुलाया जाता है सेंस भी आता है इसका आई एम कॉल्ड और इस इट मे मीन रमेश कॉल्स यू रमेश कॉल्स यू और इट मे मीन रमेश हैज कॉल्ड यू बोथ मे मीन बोथ मे बी मेंट बाई दिस यू आर कॉल्ड बाई रमेश बट रमेश हैज कॉल्ड परफेक्ट वुड बी यू हैव बीन कॉल्ड विच विल गिव नो एम्बिग्यूटी ओके बट समाइम्स दिस ऑल्सो गिव्स द सेम सेंस ओके सो इन पैसिव वॉइस देर इज वेरी लिटल डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू एंड समटाइम्स दे आर यूज इंटरचेंजेबली ओके फॉर नॉर्मल इम्प्रिसाइज कम्युनिकेशन ओके नेक्स्ट Ramesh has been called for a meeting at the same time. So actually, he cannot host you. You see, he has called you to his house, but at the same time, he has been called for a meeting. Ramesh has been called for a meeting at the same time. Has been called. Okay. So has third form of be itself, and another third form called. Okay. Now we are putting it inactive by the use of a. an unknown subject someone someone has called ramesh for a meeting at the same time okay so this shows you a few examples of have plus third form in order to express sentences in present perfect and similarly you can make past perfect and future perfect also but in past perfect typically the sense is that you need to have another sentence another action in the same sentence or nearby context which marks the time in the present you don't need that in because in the present now is the reference time anyway for the past you will need some reference time in which some action takes place or took place okay so that comes that action that event comes in simple past and the other thing which had been completed before that that comes in past perfect okay we will see more of these uh, another important um topic we have for today which have been which we have been talking about for quite some time is phrases okay so this kind of things we see all the time in english okay and we have been seeing these things uh, over a number of lessons of ours in number of examples okay to give extra details of many uh, events or many states many uh, positions in this box is box me in the evening sham ko in my power meri kshamta me at 5 pm 5 baje and so on okay so these um at the station and in the station what would be the difference 
at Kanpur or in Kanpur? What do you say? The train arrived at Kanpur. And where do you live? You live in Kanpur. Okay. But when you came here first time, your train arrived not in Kanpur, but it arrived at Kanpur. Uh, you live in Kanpur, but when you go from Kanpur to Bangalore, on the way you halt at Hyderabad. So, the place where you live, you live in that place, but where you halt on the way, you halt at that place. So, in a larger map, when you see a place as a point, then you use at. And when a larger area, when you live inside that, then you use in. Okay? So, that is the idea. On this subject, you can, pardon, is Vishayapar. There are contexts in which you can have in this subject. Okay. When the subject is considered as a big area, in which lots of discussion will take place, okay. in this subject there are many uh, points to discuss. Okay. So, whenever you consider something as big, in which you may consider sub parts, then you typically use in. On the other hand, when you look at that whole thing together as an item, on which you can say something, on which you can uh, you know uh, base some discussion, then you use on okay. for 7 months since December. Okay. Then between two sons among six cats. Okay. So, with two of them you will use between and with more of them you will use among. Fine. Up the ladder or down the ladder? You can climb up the ladder or you can climb down the ladder. Okay. Or if you are very smart, then you can climb down the rope and up the rope. It has a sense of direction. There is a difference between uh, into the garden and in the garden. There are flowers in the garden. The cat went into the garden. So, in is status, into is entry, okay? motion, into is dynamic. Okay? So, in and to combined into. Okay? The opposite is out of, but into is written together, out of is written separately, okay? out of town. Yes. Anything here? Any question? Quick? Yes. What is the difference between among and amongst? Uh, they are very, very close. I mean, it would be uh, very difficult to pinpoint uh, differences without uh, appropriate it's context. And in many contexts also, you could perhaps change uh, one to the other. Amongst are more of a classical usage that has been used uh, yes. for long. Nowadays, yeah. I uh, find yeah. very rare usage of it, but it is still there. Yes. Sir, uh, scenes and for a little more. Uh, scenes and for. Oh, okay. And one more thing. Uh, in Kanpur and at Kanpur, I was talking about. Uh, similar thing could be talked about um, at 5 p.m. and in the evening. A longer duration of time will be taken as in, taken with in. Uh, a shorter duration will be with at. Okay. We will have a discussion in the evening after meeting at 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. we meet and then have a discussion, have the discussion in the rest of the evening. Okay. For an interval uh, we use in, for a point we use a Correct. kind of. Correct. For an interval, for an area or interval, okay, extended um, region in time or space, we use in. On the other hand, a location, for a location we use in time or space. Yeah, uh, for or since, yes, I am coming to that. Oh, during has a, um, uh, gives a sense of duration, sense of uh, the time flowing. Okay. So, um, we had the discussion in the evening, uh, means uh, sometime in the evening, perhaps the discussion uh, took place only for one minute. 
but during the evening uh, gives a sense that uh, over one and a half hours uh, we had a long discussion. Okay. For uh, you are talking about actually, during and sense do not have a conflict, for and sense have a uh, sense of confusion which people confuse, though there is absolutely no need, no reason to confuse, because since refers to a point of time, since December okay, and for refers to a the duration of time, the measure of the duration for 7 months, for last 7 months I am teaching this since December I am teaching this. So, the current time is July that is idea. So, that is why uh, since December and for last 7 months are equivalent. So, uh, it has been raining since morning and it has been raining for 3 hours. Correct. He is good at calculation or he is good in calculation? That would be fine because the entire calculation you are seeing together. Um, but if it is calculus then I would say in typically in yes giving a lot of respect to the subject and, uh, as madam pointed out uh, there might be some confusion with scenes and from also sometimes uh, and because I'm sometimes uh, in order to uh, demarcate a duration you say from this time to that time okay yeah. so, but uh, that is only for from this time to that time uh, but when you are marking a time f from a particular time to the current, then you simply say since that time. Okay. Okay. Uh, practice of words with the present word families. Let us omit today. Um, we go directly to this uh, perfect tense stuff. Okay. Uh, frame a sentence from with a word from the first uh, two lines, uh, yeah. From the first two lines, take a suitable word of your choice. Choice itself is also a choice, okay. And frame a sentence with the have plus third form structure. Fine. We have kept the coin in the soil. Beautiful. We have kept the coin in the soil. Okay. Fine. Uh, can you convert it into passive voice? We have kept the coin in the soil. The, the coin has been kept in the soil by me. By us. By us yeah. Okay. Fine. Good. Now, take um, another word from these two lines and make another such sentence this time uh, with uh, in past past perfect. past perfect yes had plus third form uh, the chariot had left before the idiot could understand the chariot had left before the idiot could understand okay this is a good example okay so, the chariot had left. So, that is the part of the sentence which is framed in past perfect and past perfect was necessitated for this in order to show the uh, um, contrast with the time of the other part which was the idiot could understand which is framed in simple. Um, uh, past. Okay. Fine. Now, take one of these words and make a sentence with will have third form. We have to bear the violent attack by a lion when it is injured. Um, again? We will have to bear the violent attack. We will have to have to have to we are not asking for that we are asking for will have plus third form. Um, after staying together for one year, we will have formed the union. After staying together for two, uh, one year, 
we will have formed the union or a union we will have formed a union okay so i'm marking the time by putting after stay together after staying together for a year any other example from anywhere do not force yourself to use two or three words of the group or may, maybe we go to the other group of words i will have formed an opinion after i see i will have formed an opinion after going through your write up i will have formed an opinion after going through your write up or before the meeting that is more important okay sir uh, one small question in the context of this perfect tenses uh, i have had a book i mean uh, some kind uh, of that fine. is perfect right i mean fine. i have had yeah so good sentences are coming so in today's um, assignment also we have uh, tasks to frame uh, such sentences uh, and uh, we stop at this point and in the next session we again uh, cover these things in some more detail thank you